Volcanoes are one of the most amazing destructive forces on Earth, which may be the reason why a sleeping volcano slowly awakens near the titular city. Some investigators believe there is no risk, but Harry Dalton isn't so sure. There were warnings, including increased activity in hot springs cooking two people bathed alive, and sulfur dioxide in the water. Rising subsurface temperatures and dissolved gases are early warnings that something much bigger is going on. Something similar happened at Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii, starting in 2007. Kilauea is the most active of the five volcanoes that make up the Hawaiian island chain. It appeared above the water's surface about 100,000 years ago and has been active ever since, but that doesn't mean it always erupts violently. In 2007, lava began to pool inside the volcano, but things remained more or less calm for the next decade. Then, in 2018, it finally boomed. During the decade prior to the massive explosion that lasted from May to August 2018 rocks from the volcano's rim fell, creating waves like pebbles that fell into a pond. Josh Crozier and Leif Karlstrom, both from the Department of Earth Sciences at the University of Oregon, studied the properties of these waves and how they propagated through the lava, in the hope of understanding the inner workings of volcanoes. Their findings were published in the journal Science Advances. If you've ever seen someone play music by tapping on a series of glasses, you probably have an idea of the philosophy at work here. Liquid level, type of liquid, and even temperature can affect the tone produced when you tap on the glass. Similarly, scientists are wondering if measuring sound waves traveling through lava pools can provide some insight into what's going on inside. After Kilauea finally erupted, scientists looked at more than a decade of data they had collected at the site to see if they could reverse engineer the eruption as a way to better predict future events. Using data from seismic sensors, GPS stations, and visual observations, they built a computer model of the volcano and started playing around with variables. Using their model, they tested many different characteristics to try and replicate the recorded vibrations, by playing with different temperatures and dissolved gas levels. They found that the nature of the vibration was tied to both variables. Importantly, information about the temperature and makeup of gases is usually only available after a volcano erupts, but now scientists can work backwards from sound studies. Volcanoes are complex geological structures, and it is very likely that further study and observations will be required before we have a clear picture. But scientists hope that using lava tremors before eruptions can give us better tools to predict eruptions before they occur. Whether you live on an actual volcanic island chain or in the fictional town of Dante's Peak, listening to Earth songs can save your life.